The topic of this lesson was determining parallel and perpendicular lines. And I had a question sent in by a student named Zoe that I'm going to use to sort of uh, illuminate that topic. She says, why is it true that a line perpendicular to y equals 4x minus 3 would have the slope of negative 1 fourth? So first of all, let's take a look at the line that you have, y equals 4x minus 3. Now that one's graphed right here, um, y equals 4x minus 3. The two sort of immediately important bits of information are the y-intercept, negative 3, which tells us that there's a point on the y-axis at negative 3, because that, that says that your line intersects that point right there. So we can say that this point right here is 0, negative 3, right there. And then the slope of your line is 4. So that's 4 over 1, so that means we can go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1 to get to the next point. And you'll see that I already graphed one there just to sort of save us some time. So that's rise 4, run 1. And from there we can go to another one, rise 4, run 1. And I went and sort of drew that in there to kind of illuminate how you get from point to point. Now, the perpendicular line, if we assume it goes through the same y-intercept, so we'll start at that same point. A perpendicular line is obviously one that meets at a 90 degree angle right here. Now I went ahead and drew that line in and we can see if we just sort of cross it in and then look at the picture that to get from point to point on this line is actually a similar ratio. Instead of going up 4 and right 1 though, we go up 1 and back 4 or we go down 1 and right 4. So we have 1 on this dimension and 4 on this dimension. So instead of the vertical dimension being 4, the vertical dimension is 1. And instead of the horizontal dimension being 1, the horizontal dimension is 4. And it's the same on, obviously, both sides here, going from this one to the left to get to that one, or going from here to the right to get to the other one. So to identify, without having to sketch out every time how this works, all you need to do is look at the slope of your original line. If your slope, m, is 4, then the perpendicular line, perpendicular, the perpendicular line would be the inversion of that number. So it's going to actually be upside down. So instead of 4 over 1, we'll have 1 over 4. And since this one is positive, then our new line would be negative. So the slope for this line is negative 1 fourth m equals negative 1 fourth, and the slope for this line is 4. Now we can look at another example if you like. Um, say we had the equation y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. The perpendicular line, oops, p e r, the perpendicular line would have the inversion of this slope. So instead of negative 3 over 4, it would be positive 4 over 3. And then if it goes through the same y-intercept, we can actually write out the entire equation. All we had to change was that slope. Now we know that this line here goes through the same point, the same y-intercept as the first line. But since its slope is the inversion of it, then it's going to be the perpendicular line. Now, that leads directly into parallel lines. To find a parallel line, all you have to do is find another point where your, your second line goes through and then set the slope the same. Because if the rise over run is the same, the lines will be side by side. Whereas if the rise over run is the inversion, then the lines will be perpendicular. So I hope that helped you out a little there, Zoe.